Hey there everyone, Atesh here, back again with another video and in this video we'll be designing two sections. The first section is going to be majorly dependent on how well we are able to use grids. We are using three sections here but you can use and extend that to four sections pretty easily. Pretty common knowledge so far we have seen. And another section is going to be more on the crossal which looks like this. And right now my internet is not serving the images nicely uh, because uh, this video is being recorded during the COVID situation and internet is not at its best. Anyways, we'll be able to quickly design almost all of it. So let's go back on to this Coffee King and just below the About Us section, we're going to design a simple services section which is pretty common in the websites. Now before we go ahead and do that, one thing that we need to do is go into our styling section and have to just write a single line of CSS which will be important for us and that's going to be dot icon dash coffee. Now this is not available or we are not overwriting any of the style. We just want a color there. So we're going to be simply copying the same coffee color. We'll implement that and this time I'll just say not the background but this time I'll say color and I'll tell you the reason in just a minute. First let's go back up here. So just below the about section we want to design a services section so why not to have a simple section that says my favorite services section there we go nice and easy inside that i'll create a simple div which is going to have a row and i would like to insert some of the styling just right here not in the css because they are not much i want a little bit spacing from the left and right and you know what instead i could have used a container here but container actually shrinks it a lot more i don't want to go that much more in that case we can use a little bit of the padding on the left side probably just 50 pixels and I will like to grab a padding from right as well. So padding from the right is going to be uh, 50 pixel. Now feel free to use even uh, these container if you like it that way. That's also totally fine. Okay, now inside that I will create a div which is going to have a simple column. And I want a bit of spacing as well. So I will say that on the smaller screen I want it to go full width. So on the mobile it's going to look just one element in one row. But in the larger screen, I'm going to say that I want to divide it into four. So four, four and four makes it a 12. And I would also like to keep everything at center. So there we go. This is being designed. I would insert a little bit padding here as well. So I'll just go and add a style component here. And I'll say, you know what, let me instead of having a top and life, uh, top and right paddings and all of that, I'll just say, hey, give me a padding uh, from all the sides. So 50 pixels uh, from here and top left and uh, top and bottom and left and right also like 50 pixels. I could have just given a 50 pixel here from all the sides. That would be better. So there we go. Okay, so this is all done. Now what I want to do is I want to insert a few elements here. So obviously I'll need to have a little bit more. So I'll first delete this one, move it to one line and I'll create a duplicate of this. So one, two because this one will take the entirety of the part but L4 needs to have three elements here. So this division is containing one, then this one is two and this one last one is three. So there we go, nice and easy. I'll just add one here and I'll just copy paste the element whatever I'm writing inside here into other blocks as well. So let's go ahead and add the stuff. First and foremost, I want to insert an I element and that's gonna have few classes which is gonna be large and it will have a material dash icons material dash icons and then one more class which is going to be icon dash coffee and you're going to see what that is doing in a second i'm going to just say local uh need to be smaller local underscore if i can write that local underscore dining come on local underscore dining and I'll save that first and I'll show you what it actually is doing. As you can see, this brings out these uh, nice dining icons here. You can go ahead and look at the icons here. I have to, uh, while I was designing this entirety of the things, I came up with a few which I remember for this one. Uh, but if you look for a little bit here, where are the icons? I think these are in the components. And there we go. You can feel free to pick up any icons. You can see this is how it goes on. You have to insert an I, which is having a class of material icon. Then you can simply have an add. Tiny, small, medium are the sizes that you can introduce here. And then feel free to pick anything just like here. And the CSS that we have added, the default icons are actually a bit uh, like uh, black in the color. But once we say this icon dash coffee, 
which we have inserted here as well, icon dash coffee, this actually converts everything into uh, coffee color. Make sure that you don't put any background color there because if you're gonna put anything background in the background, that actually goes and affect the background color, not the color itself. Just to show you that if I put an aqua here, this actually gives my background as an aqua, not the icon itself. Icon is almost like a text, so it needs a color property instead of the background property. Pretty cool. Okay, moving forward, and where am I? So just below the local dining, I have inserted this icon. I would like to add a little bit more text just for fun. So I'll just add in probably an H5 with a class of header and I'll say variety of coffee. There we go, save that, should look decent. And there we go, looks nice as about services section. All I have to do now is I have to copy this and I have to come up on the second part. We'll paste it up here. And the second part, I'll add just like local dining, I'll insert another icon. Feel free to pick your own icon. I'll just say watch underscore later, which is more over like a clock-ish icon. And in the second part or the third part also, I will add another icon, which is gonna be for favorite. Let's remove this and we'll say favorite. There we go, should be looking decent. There we go. So now this section is all good. We got three nice little icons and now you can see the parallax more, uh, more visible too. So that looks nice and we are able to design this one too. Okay, so this part is all good. We are having the same text. So I hope you can change that too. It's not of a big deal. Now we will be working on this parallax section, not parallax, and these uh, different section. What, where is that? The carousal section, yes, of course. So first and foremost, we have to initialize these carousals and there is a little bit more and you have to dig up into the options a little bit, but rather I can show you the easier way how you can do it. So let me show you that. So in case you want another carousal to be having up, first and foremost, let's go and how, see how it's gonna work. First and foremost, obviously we are using a jQuery, so we need to target that. So I'll say I'll have a class which will say my reviews. Feel free to name it anything, but make sure you are using the same here. Then you can enter the property of carousal. Carousal, there we go. And once you have this carousal, you have to provide some of the property values so that it activates nicely. So I'm gonna say first and foremost, the property is num visible. So that's gonna be seven. So I'll have seven of these scrollable images as you can see just right at the top. So these are the images. So how many images you are having, you have to mention them here. So we have mentioned that we'll have seven of them separated by a comma. Then you have to mention the shift value that how much you want them to be shifting. So I'll say the shift. And again, you can play around. The value lies from zero to 100. So I'll just say 55 because it looks good. And padding also in case you want to have it. I'll just say 55 for it. Definitely these numbers are not something that you memorize. You just come and see if they are looking good. Otherwise you manipulate them a little bit. Uh, so that's what we'll be doing. Okay, let's save that. This part is all done. Now let's go into the index.html and I'll add a new section. I'll show you that how we can do one and then I'll just copy paste just like what I did in the above section. So I can minimize these guys and there you go. So I'll add a new section here. So let's call this as section as my favorite reviews. There we go. And inside that, I'll create a new division first. So div is gonna be called as section. This is gonna be white and this is gonna be center. So all the classes are in place. Let's add just add a simple H3 with a header to give it a simple heading. Uh, we'll say what our customers say. Uh, something like that. Feel free to just change these messages as well. Now, importantly, we'll have a div which is going to have a carousal as a class. So carousal. But most importantly, make sure you add a class of my reviews. This class should be exactly same as what we have added here. So my reviews. And I'll be a little bit sure by just copying and pasting it here because sometimes I make a lot of typos. Okay. So we have this. But for this entirety of the section of this guy, I would like to add a bit about of the styling here too. Not much, but a little bit padding from the bottom. Uh, not padding, actually, margin. So margin bottom is going to be just around 30 pixel. That's it. I'm all happy with that. 
Okay, now this entire carousal needs to have all the elements that you want to have in the circular motion or the carousal style. So we'll just add. Now, you can add up any image here. You can add any section, however you like to go and deal up with that. What I would rather like to go is I'll create a simple A and the this next class is important. It needs to have a class of carousal dash item. This class automatically is being hunted by the jQuery and makes your element all good. And I'll just move it there. It's not going anywhere. And inside this A tag, we'll have a further uh, entirely a div, which is going to be a simple column. First, we need to have a row. So div dot row inside that div dot column. This is going to take entirety of the screen on smaller signs. So dot, dot s12. So take entirety of that. And if you don't mention anything, this is going to also take the entirety on the big screen as well. There we go. Column is being inserted further there. I will insert a div. And this time I'm using a class of dot card dash panel so that I don't have to worry much about the sizing and stuff. And things goes nicely there. And uh, there we go. So I'll have a card dash panel looks pretty good. Inside this, I'll add a span. And this is span. Let's have a class as well, which is going to be white dash text. And further inside in here, I would just write something uh, one review. You can definitely add a bit more. I would like to just have it here so that I can see how things are looking first and foremost. So there we go. I can see this guy is here, but this is not going anywhere because uh, although this could be a nice and important effect here, let's go ahead and change it a little bit. So first and foremost, wherever we are having this card panel, uh, let's see if we can add a teal property and can see the colors kicking in. So there we go. Colors are kicking in, but I would like to change this color a little bit. So I can insert a little bit of the styling here. Not much, uh, just one style and which is going to have a background color. Yep, that's the one. Thank you so much VS Code. And I need to insert the important as well. So this one is going to be important. There we go. Should be all good. So one review is all looking good. We would definitely like to add a bit of spacing and a little bit of height to it. So let's go ahead and do that now. So for that, we can actually target any of these classes and can have a specific height for that. And I think if I just say card dash panel, this should fix this up. And there we go. This is what I was looking up. So nice and easy. And I like to add a little bit more text here. So in this span, we are having this one review. And just below that, I'll add a paragraph, which will say a lorem of 20 words would be good. Let's go ahead and save that. See that not looking good. We can add a class here. So we are going to add a class of white dash text. Save that. And you can see we don't have to write any of the CSS. And this looks so good and so beautiful. Now, all we have to do is add more of these uh, links here. How many of them you might be asking? We have mentioned that that we are capable enough to handle seven of them. So what we're going to do is we are going to shrink them up and copy this one here. So one is here, two, three, four, five and six and one more seven. Let's save that and see how this is looking up. So there we go. This is a pretty fantastic review section. We definitely could expand it that a little bit more. Uh, however you want to look at, I want to look at exactly like this because I think from the original one, this is looking a bit better. And again, this is so beautiful. So much of response. Even if you shrink them up a bit, uh, this is still going to look pretty awesome. Pretty fantastic. Pretty fantastic. I'm super impressed by this one. Okay. So there we go. So far, our website is looking nice. We have nice parallax. We are following a theme looking absolutely beautiful. Now, the only one thing that's remaining now is footer, which is absolutely easy to deal up with. We will be designing two footers and we'll be just closing down, hopefully, this entirety of the project in the next video. So let's catch up there.